guys, and welcome back to my channel. So good to hang out with you. Today I'm sharing with you five game-changing, life-changing skincare hacks for your body. These are key for the winter months here. If you are like me, I shrivel up. I turn into a dry, just pruny alligator this time of year. And I know so many people deal with the same thing. So these five skincare tips are going to change the skin all over your body. We don't want to be walking around with this like youthful, plump, hydrated face, and then literally look like a pruny alligator all over our body. That doesn't matter. We do not want that. So these five tips are going to take you from a dry, dry, crepey looking alligator to a youthful plump, just like goddess of skin all over your body. Everything is going to match up, which is what we want. These tips are going to save you. I've been doing these nonstop and I can tell you right now, they are game changers. So let's just get into it. But before we do, don't forget to comment and leave your number one body skincare tip here for the winter. I love to read all of your guys' tips as well. Trust me, I learned stuff from you guys as well. So leave your comment down below with your number one body winter skincare tip. And let's get to it, you guys. These five skincare hacks here are going to completely change your skin all over your body this winter. Okay, skincare hack number one that is going to save your skin, you need to be doing this, and I've talked about it before, is dry brushing. This is an absolute must. Dry brushing is going to gently exfoliate all of that dead skin off of the surface of your body. And trust me, it piles up. It piles up on your skin all over your body more than you even realize. And that's why you get this like dry alligator, you know, creepy look to your skin. It needs exfoliation. Just like your face, you got to get rid of that layer of dead skin. And not only is exfoliating your body going to help the, you know, body lotions and body treatments that you're applying next, it's going to actually help it penetrate more because when there's a layer of dead skin, nothing's getting through that. You need to take that off so that everything can penetrate better. But also it's going to leave you glowing and it's just going to reveal that healthier, younger skin skin underneath. So dry brushing, I do this every day before I take a shower. I take my dry brush. I will link this one down below. You could use any dry brush though. I'll link my favorites down below. Anything works, but you take your dry brush and you just brush up and you always want to go towards your heart because that's actually going to help with lymphatic drainage at the same time, which is a huge plus as well. So I take this before I shower. I exfoliate with this. I run down my arms. I go up my legs and again, up my legs, because again, you want to go towards the heart and you do this before you shower. And it's an absolute must. Trust me. This is your first step to getting glowing, healthy, youthful, non-alligator skin. Okay. Skincare tip number two. This is going to save your skin this winter. Take a body oil and apply this to your skin all over before you shower. And that is a game changing tip because I've been doing it myself and I've seen such a difference because if you are like me, I love taking hot showers. I cannot help it. I love a hot shower, even in the winter, even though I know it's just drying out my skin. I love a hot shower. Give me the steam. My shower is like steam central coming out of it. I can't help it. It's what I like. So instead of having to lower my temperature in my shower, this is what I've been doing. And trust me, it actually works. And it's actually like amazing. So I take a body oil that I've been using this organic almond oil. Almond oil is just amazing for your skin anyway. It's very nourishing. It has antioxidants. It's so hydrating for your skin. I take this body oil. I apply it in my hands before I shower and I just rub it all over my arms, my legs, all over just the light layer. And what that's going to do is it's actually creating this protective hydrating layer all over your skin so that the water doesn't fully penetrate your skin because the water and that high temperature water is what's creating just over dryness to our skin. So applying this before you shower is creating that like protective layer that you're going to notice when you're in the shower, it kind of like beads up a little bit because the water's not fully penetrating your skin, which is okay. Now, again, I obviously still wash my body and all of those things, but you will notice that when you get out of the shower, you still have that light layer of like this hydrating oil all over your body and it's just sunken in and it's actually very moisturizing to your skin. So it just adds this hydration to your skin, but at the same time, it's not allowing this full high heat of the shower water to really, you know, damage your skin and create that dryness to your skin. Okay. Number three skincare tip that is going to save your skin all over your body. This is a game changing tip. You guys, I've been 
doing it and it is magic. Oh my gosh. And I randomly started doing this myself and I'm like wowed by it. So you know, when you get out of the shower, you're actually supposed to apply your body products right after you get out of your shower on damp skin, because just like your face, anything that you apply to damp skin, it's going to allow those products and those ingredients to more deeply penetrate your skin. Now, if you're like me, which I've talked to a lot of you and you are like me, I get out of the shower, I dry my skin off, I do other things, I comb through my hair, like I have like other things that I'm doing before I worry about like the skin all over my body and applying my body products. So what I've been doing is I've been taking a moisturizing mist, like a hydrating mist, something that I use on my face. So the Neogenesis moisturizing mist is what I've been using on my body and misting my body. But I also take this on my face and this is what I use in between each skincare step to re-dampen my skin, to massage the next product in. Again, when you have damp skin, just lightly damp skin, all those ingredients are gonna penetrate deeper. So I use this on my face and I randomly grabbed this one day and just started misting my body with it before I applied my body lotion. You guys, game changer. The skin on my body, since I've been applying a mist first and then my body product, glass skin, glowing skin, so youthful skin. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did not figure this out sooner. So I'll take this. I'm not gonna really do it now, but I'll spray it like all over. And then I take my body lotion. Again, you can take any body lotion you want. I have been obsessed with the new Epicutus Lipid Body Treatment. There is so much goodness to this treatment. This is not just like your typical body treatment. This is pure science and pure skincare. Like I would apply this to my face. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you have this amazing anti-aging product for your face and you're like, oh my gosh, I want a tub of it to rub all over my body. That is what this is. This is so good. So this is a gel-like consistency body treatment. It's light, but it's so deeply hydrating that it actually will deliver 24 hour hydration to your skin. So even if you were to apply this and then wash your skin, like take a shower a couple hours later, this stays deep in within your skin and creates this deep hydration for 24 hours. That is not like any other body product out there. It creates such a deep hydration. And it's also loaded with antioxidants. It has firming and tightening ingredients that it actually really does. You're gonna notice that. 100% within your skin. And it also has ingredients that stimulate circulation within your skin, which is huge. You want that, you know, circulation within your skin. That's what keeps healthy, young, glowing skin. This creates that circulation within your skin. It also helps veins. So, you know, when you have like those little tiny veins that pop up, especially if you get older, like myself, you start seeing little veins, especially like on your ankles and your legs pop up. This will help with that. So I absolutely love this. It is so beautiful and light and not sticky and gross or goopy like some body products can be, but so anti-aging. So what I've been loving is taking my mist, again, dampen your skin before you apply your body treatments and you are going to see a world of difference. Now, again, you can take any hydrating mist, any mist that you love that really deeply hydrates your skin. Again, I personally have been using my Neogenesis moisturizing mist. I love this. This is full of anti-aging and antioxidants and hydration. Again, I use this on my face every single day, but taking this on my body has been a game changer because not only is it creating that dampened skin, but you're also getting those really great, you know, anti-aging ingredients with this mist all over your body, lock that in with your, you know, hydration, your body treatment and game over you guys. The skin all over your body is going to transform. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're talking about skincare tip number four here. Not only is this amazing for your lips, but I have another little hack for you. I'm talking about taking your revision youthful lip replenisher. This is the best lip product of life. I have been using this for years. I've been recommending it for years. It's truly the only thing that I use on my lips on a constant basis. And it's going to keep your lips juicy, plump, and healthy and hydrated. As you get older, if you've noticed again, and all the fun things of getting older, your lips start to become dehydrated and they start to shrink up and shrivel up. This keeps them plump and healthy and hydrated because hydration is key to your lips. This keeps your lips hydrated for 
a long period of time. So I apply this every single night and it's kind of like a thick, like a little bit like of a lip mask consistency. But when you wash it off in your morning, you wash your face, you wash it off. It does not leave your lips going back to their natural state. It keeps them hydrated and super plump and healthy. So when you apply this on a constant basis, your lips just stay naturally healthy and youthful looking. It's the best product of life. And I'm telling you guys, if you are not using this every single night, you are missing out. So not only do I take this and I use this at night, which I'm looking at this tube right now when I'm cracking up because it has all these little teeth marks in it because my cat Dandelion. If you follow me on Instagram, you know Dandelion. She's my little rescue, little orange kitty. And she is not even nine months old yet. She'll be nine months old in like a week. She loves to chew on the end of my lip product here. I have no idea why. I keep this on my nightstand right next to my bed every single night. And for some reason, she likes to chew on it. I don't know. This is going to be a game changer, not only for your lips, but this is a little hack that I've been doing that again, I just kind of started doing myself and I'm like, this works. I need to share this with you guys. I take a little bit of this product. And again, it comes out in this thicker, again, kind of like, you know, hydrating consistency. And again, not only do I take this on my lips every night, but what I've been doing is I've been applying this and I've just been dabbing it around like my dry cuticles at night because I don't know about you guys, but I get these like dry cuticle skin, like all the skin around my nails becomes dry and it's annoying, you know? And this completely hydrates those dry cuticles and that dry skin around your nail. Okay, skincare tip here, number five. This is talking all about your feet. And this is a funny story because I was laying in bed the other night with my husband, obviously, and he rubbed his foot like up against my foot. And he was like, ew, babe. He was like, oh, your foot feels so crazy crusty. And I literally looked at my heel and I was like, oh yeah, like it's so like dry and cracked and gross. And usually my feet do not get really super dry and gross. Like I get pedicures every couple of weeks. Like my feet usually stay pretty good, but for some reason, like it's just very dry here right now. And I've been dealing with like dry cracked feet and heels. So I literally said to my husband, I was like, go get that Sanitas product that I gave you because I gave him this product months ago because he was dealing with dry cracked heels. And and this is what I'm talking about, the Sanita's foot repair. I gave this to my husband a couple months ago. It, he's literally obsessed with it now. So now we fight over this, but I stole it back from him. The Sanita's foot repair, it's for cracked heels and it's a balm. It's this like beautiful balmy consistency. You apply this to your feet. I do it in the morning and I do it at night. You don't have to do it just at night. It soaks into your skin beautifully. But at night, what I do is I take this, I rub the consistency, you can see it, like it's just kind of like a lotion-y, balmy, like hydrating consistency. And I literally will rub it all over my feet, my heels, anywhere where it's dry and cracked. And what I do at night then is I take my just like fluffy, comfy socks. And before I go to bed, I just put my socks on over top of it. You don't have to do that because it actually just absorbs really well. But I love to do that because the socks create this like, you know, moisture within your feet within your feet and within your skin that just locks in that moisture and this balm and the results are insane. Like you wake up with completely healed skin. So you could go to bed with dry cracked heels, apply this, put some cozy socks on, go to bed and you're going to wake up and your skin is going to be like completely healed. It's insane. Like so soft. So it's hilarious because my husband and I now fight over this because he loves it. I love it. He's like, I'm keeping this in my bathroom. I'm like, nope, I'm keeping it in my bathroom. Um, and it's just so, so good. Okay, there you have it. Those are my top five skincare hacks for changing the skin all over your body this winter. Trust me, these work. I am telling you, I've been doing all of these and I have never had healthier, more matching skin all over than I have right now by doing these tips. So definitely let me know if you have tried these. Leave a comment down below again with your number one skincare tip, skincare hack for getting healthy winter skin all over your body. I want to know your tips. So leave that down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for your best skin. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.